This is Gurlitz's inheritance, a treasury of paintings of unknown provenance, lifting the veil again on a sordid slice of history many would rather forget. When Germany is confronted with its own history, with the history of Nazi looted art, when there are unanswered questions over restitution, then Germany has a problem and has to respond. An international task force was set up to establish the ownership of these paintings when discovered in 2012. It's not easy to determine which of the works in the collection had been looted. Up until now, there have only been requests for restitution of six of the 1,280 works. It was astounding that a single man, Cornelius Gurlitt, had managed to hide such a collection away for decades. His hiding places were a rented flat in Munich and his small house in Salzburg. The case is absolutely unique. This man had to come to terms with this morally difficult inheritance. And he did this by living alone with his paintings for 50 years. That's all he did, apart from selling one now and again. This is probably what caused such a sensation. It's the image of this lonely man with all these paintings. When knowledge of the collection was made public, Cornelius Gurlitt rejected restitution claims. He didn't really want to know how his father, Nazi art dealer Hildebrand Gurlitt, had got hold of the paintings. But as the controversy raged on, he relented. Where there was a strong suspicion of looting, he returned works of art to their original owners. He was hailed by some as a kind of moral example, as he did more in this respect than many museums and private art collectors had done previously. So what effect will the Gurlitt case have on the way in which we deal with looted art? Restitution experts are calling for more transparency when it comes to dealing with records offices and more cooperation by art collectors. I hope that people are now aware of the problem. I don't think anyone, even private collectors, wants to have skeletons in their closets. I think things are going to change now. Gurlitt's collection was due to be returned to him after the provenance of the paintings was established. Now the German authorities will come under pressure to hand the paintings over more speedily. Gurlitz's will clearly states that he did not want the collection to remain in Germany, but the bequest to the Kunstmuseum in Bern was wholly unexpected. I was delighted, of course. I'm also shocked because that's a very important collection, and it's very rare for an art museum to receive a gift in this way. It's not like a regular legacy or bequest from an association. In this particular case, we can decide what to do with it. But the collection throws up many questions, which have been discussed for some time in the media. It's our responsibility now to make sure that these questions are answered quickly and that we are ethically correct. It's a legacy in more ways than one. 